the most significant online safety legislation in decades aiming to protect children has just passed in a bipartisan vote in the Senate. The landmark legislation now must clear a vote in the House. If enacted, tech companies will be required to take steps to protect kids under the age of 17 against the harms of social media, gaming, and other online platforms. Here to tell us more about this is co-sponsor and Democratic Senator from Minnesota, Amy Klobuchar. Thank you so much for being with us, Senator. Well, thanks, Eva. It's just great to be on about this incredibly important thing. Every parent uh, that watches your show understands this. One parent told me she felt like it's water overflowing blowing a sink and she's out there with a mop trying to figure out how to keep her kids off of some of these sites, off of dangerous um, activities that would actually lead them to things like fentanyl, to things like uh, pornography. Um, and it is really past time that we put some gar guard rules in place. For, for me, I'm a parent, you, you look at this, we know so much about the harms of social media and screens and, and online. Why has it been so hard to get any kind of legislation through to protect our children? You know, a lot of this is the tech companies um, have this attitude like, hey, we can do what we want. We don't want rules in place. And by the way, there's a lot of other work that has to be done on competition so they're not dominating the marketplace and using their monopoly power. I'm not going to focus on that today because we have a victory. But they have stopped a lot of legislation that in other countries like Canada or Europe or Australia, things are getting passed. And this is our first big victory on this front. And I'm glad we're starting with kids. Now, Senator, this legislation is two bills. It's the Kids Online Safety Act. The other is Children's and Teens Online Privacy Protection Act 2.0. Together, what will, you just touched on it, but what will success ultimately look like if this ultimately passes the House later on? So what it does is after years and years, it changes that age limit. It was only 13. Now it's up to 17 because we know a lot of these kids are getting addicted uh, to this content at age 15, 16, 17. That's a big change. And then the second thing is just we've learned more about what these algorithms manipulatively do to get kids addicted so they want to keep looking at the content. And it actually says, and there can be enforcement from state AGs, from the Federal Trade Commission, so it has teeth. It says you can't design products like that to hook kids on your products. Um, and then finally, of course, the tools uh, to keep them from getting addicted in the first place. You know, these bills, we have to mention, have not been without controversy. Free speech advocates, the tech lobbying groups, they're saying that this yeah. is unconstitutional and that it could violate the First Amendment. How do you respond to that? Look, when that Boeing jet, when the door falls off, they suspended the fleet of planes, and we all thought that was a good idea. This stuff is going on. Kids are committing suicide. Uh, they're having to drop out of school because all they're doing is looking at their phones. Oh, please. We have a right the people of this country through their representatives, no matter what these tech companies say, to put in rules and regulations to protect our kids. So when you originally asked like what's stopping it, it has been that lobby that doesn't want any rules and regulations. I think it's a huge mistake, the tactic they've taken. And now we're starting to see things pass. Finally, members of Congress are willing to take on that lobby and all of the funding that goes with it. Senator Amy Klobuchar, thank you for your time and for making us Great smarter on this bill. On. Appreciate you. Thank you.